there, Judy Mick, the Streaking Runner here. I want to do a short video for you all on what I feel are essential needs by all runners. Now, I'm sure you've noticed there's all kinds of gadgets and gizmos out there that you can buy. And I admit, I've bought some of them, but these are what I feel are the basic needs for runners. First of all, you need a good pair of running shoes. Now, I'm sure you knew I was going to say that, but this is number one. You need to um, make sure you go to a good running store, have the salesperson measure your foot, properly fit you up for a shoe that fits you and fits your foot type. This is one area you really don't want to skimp on because a good pair of running shoes will keep you out there running on the roads for a long time and keep you from getting injured. Very important. Another thing you need is to invest in some technical running gear. When I mean technical, what that means is the fabric. You want to have some sort of moisture wicking fabric. And what that means is as you sweat, that it pulls the moisture away from your body. This keeps you running comfortably, keeps you dry, and it'll keep you from getting chilled. If you've ever run in the summertime in a cotton t-shirt, you know what can happen. It gets wet, stays wet, it can chill you. So. Want to make sure you have some sort of moisture wicking material, clothing when you're running. And while we're talking about moisture wicking, you also want to make sure you have good moisture wicking socks also. Now your socks, if you wear cotton socks, and please don't wear cotton socks, they get wet as your feet sweat, they stay wet, and this, in addition to feeling uncomfortable when you're running and just miserable, it will also um, can cause blisters. So good pair of socks also. Now I also feel that runners need a cap. Um, I wear a cap every day when I run. Um, several different reasons. In the um, summertime you can kind of, it, this, it'll protect your um, face from the sun, also protect you from the glare. And speaking of glare, if you run in the evenings or in the mornings you can also kind of dip your bill so that you can, won't be blinded by the glare of oncoming cars. Good cap, I feel, is important. Another thing is when it's raining, it will keep your um, rain from getting into your eyes. And I wear contacts, so for me, that's an important thing also. Another thing that you need is a good running watch. Now, as you're starting out, just get yourself a nice, simple running watch. You don't need anything too expensive. I've worn a Timex Ironman for years. First watch I had, love this watch, and I still wear it around a lot. has a um, timer. Chronograph is all you need to start in end time of your runs. Now, as you start running more and you get in a little more distances, you probably will want to invest in a nice GPS watch. Love my Garmin Forerunner. It records my um, automatically records my miles, and I can go back and, and recall my runs. It has some other bells and whistles with it. Um, it can also be hooked up to a heart monitor if you wish. So, good um, GPS running watch once you've been running for a while. A nice little cheaper watch will get you started. I also feel that all runners need some tunes. Love my iPod Shuffle. I like the smallness of it. I don't want anything bulky when I'm running. This just clips right onto my running shorts or if it's cold, a jacket. I um, like to listen to my songs when I'm running get kind of lost in what I'm doing, especially on a longer run. Also, we'll listen to some motivating things, some self-help things, iPod Shuffle or just some kind of um, little mp3 player perfect another thing you want to do especially if you're doing longer runs is to have some sort of ID with you now I'm not one to do the fanny pack or carry driver's license or anything but I do wear an ID with me at all times um, road ID I think has the best IDs now this one I've had for years this is my first one velcros right on to the laces of my shoe has my name and information, has my husband's name, his cell phone number. Um, if you have allergies or a special blood type, you can put that on here also. Great information to have. Road ID came out with these a few years ago, and I had to have one of these. It's just a nice, simple bracelet. Fits right onto your arm. Has the same information. Um, it's good to have. Nine times out of ten, you're never going to need this, but it's good to know you have it if something does happen. It also gives your family members peace of mind. Another thing you need, especially if you're running in the mornings or in the evenings, is some reflective gear. Now, you can get reflective gear in all kinds of things. You can get 
vests, you can get shirts, you can get shorts, you can get jackets, you can get armbands, you can get leg bands, even caps. As you can tell, I'm a cap person. I love my reflective cap. And this one even, if I want to, has a blinking light that I can wear on the back. So anyway, a good reflective, no matter what it is, whatever you're comfortable with, get some reflective gear. Another thing that I think runners need, you know you've gone on those runs. You've come back in, your legs are just feeling a little stiff or a little sore, just a little tired. The running stick or the marathon stick. This is a great self-massager. Just take five, ten minutes, just run it over your legs, your leg muscles. This is great for after you do a run. It makes you feel so much better. And one last thing that I think runners need is a good running injury book. Now, this is not a book that you're going to read cover to cover. This is simply a book that you want to have on your bookshelf when you get that glitch on your on your knee and your leg or just something doesn't feel quite right. You can look it up in the in your um, your reference medical book and see what it is. Um, I love this one, Running Doc's Guide. He's a runner. He's dealt with runners, so he's pretty cool as far as runners' injuries and what to tell runners to do. So that's what I feel is a great thing to have. Just have some sort of something. Whenever something doesn't quite feel right, go to a, um, a good reference running um, injury book. Well, that's it. That's what I feel the essentials are you need. Now, like I said, you can get all kinds of things, and there are all kinds of things out there. But those are your basics. So if you have any questions, just email me at judy at the streakingrunner.com. And you all have a great day and run happy.